Sykes TV. Uh, going to do predictor starting 11 against Markham. Going to be a tough test, I think. If you look at other video, what I did with uh, fellas, uh, it's on channel. I think it's going to be a tough test, a bit similar to like Fleetwood away. I want to be on with Markham, yeah, very bottom three. And again, going to be one of, one of them kind of games where I think whoever gets this goal is going to be different. I think if Markham get, uh, go one note up, <clears throat> I can see him sitting back, sitting tight and frustrating us. And again, I think if we get a goal, I think it gives that a bit of confidence. And similar to the Cambridge game, dare I say, it's going to be interesting. Good following going as well. A um, few winners are going. Great support again, away support. So I'm going to get on to the... The start of 11, predict the start of 11, should I say, against Morecambe, Saturday, 22nd of October. Again, Brad Collins, if you saw me play ratings, I thought he had an all right game against Bolton. Some crosses what were coming across front of goal, at times you weren't reaching, essentially, not flapping, but just weren't reaching ball and you're going across. <clears throat> Again, I keep saying it, and I'm, you know, I didn't think Walton did out any, any out wrong. But, you know, Collins is going to be number one for the league game, it looks in it. So, Collins, Tom Edwards, I stick with Tom Edwards. I know it's touch and go if Jordan Williams is going to be right with his injury. But for me, I thought we'll, uh, Edwards had a, had a decent game, solid game against Bolton. <clears throat> Play of it's improving. Again, long throws, but uh, Bolton tried uh, pouring some water on, on towels and that to stop suffering from giant ball. But no, for me, Tom Edwards, I'd uh, keep him there at uh, right wing back. I think back three is going to molest some sort of center. Captain Mads Anderson, <clears throat> Kundi, and Kitchen. I think it's fair to say, barring any injuries, I mean, we're on the uh, team bonding exercise with, you know, military. Barring any injuries, not like that picked up, uh, any calf strains while, you know, climbing uh, the terrain. I think it, keep it as is at the back three and left wing back. I'll go for Nicky Cadham. I know uh, Laresh started at Bolton. Again, didn't have best, didn't have worst of games. You know, he was one of them kind of players that, you know, something needs to happen in that position. And I thought when Nicky kind of came on, he made a bit of a difference. Great crossover for Norwood in the last few minutes for Norwood. Fortunately, he couldn't convert it. But for me, Nicky Cadden, all being well, he started to... More or less claim that spot. That spot needs claiming. Um, and and by, you know injuries the other day on its season. He got he came back and like Duff said, it didn't have much of a pre season, so what it too much too soon. So that's my back three and me wing backs as such, Tom Edwards and Nicky Cadham. Going to midfield. There could be a few a few choices, yeah. <clears throat> Luke O'Connell, again, a fighting spirit, my man at match, just edge it from Anderson against Bolton. But for me, Luke O'Connell, I think he'll sit in that deep midfield role, picking ball up and trying to get things going and motivate it and, you know, drive drive rest at midfield. Alongside him, I think I'm going to go Benson. Uh, again, could be a bit of a a chain round here, but this is my thinking. I think Ed Benson in back position and Luke Thomas being out. I'm going to go for Josh Martin. I didn't think that H and I thought it was pretty quiet from honesty in Bolton game. He were trying to make runs and that, but he just weren't looking for him in that position uh, in attacking midfield or just behind the front two in that final third. Some might agree or disagree with that trio, but I've just mentioned there. Some might say 
but Benson up front and Ev, Kane and Luke O'Connell. You could possibly chuck into mix Adam Phillips, another player what I think who's who comes off at substitute bench. He has a decent game for being honest. You know, he doesn't look out of place. He, he does put a shift in, he looks solid, he looks comfortable. So again, would you have Luke O'Connell and Phillips or Luke O'Connell and Kane or Benson? It's all I'm trying to think. It'll fit up in that like attacking midfield role. I thought we've in game a couple of goals, Josh Martin and uh, Papa John's again, Donny Rovers. I thought he might have had a bit of a look in, a bit more of a look in, or possibly started. But that's my trio for that area. Again, you might agree, disagree. It's all about opinions. So let me know your thoughts on that trio. <clears throat> up front, Devante Cole. Again, I thought he looked frustrated against Bolton. Things weren't going his way. It weren't going right for him. For me, you know, if you look before that, though, with goals that he scored. So he run that bit of a run, that bit of a confidence boost. <clears throat> and that's what it's all about. You know, especially for goal scorers, it's all about confidence. Partner, sorry, his partner, get via advantage call, his partner will be Aitchison. Thought about Norwood away and possibly he might go Norwood like he did at Fleetwood. But I'm thinking Aitchison, he's got that bit more sprint, that bit more energy about him, you know. He might end up going Devante Call and Norwood, or he could even possibly put Aitchison back in that attacking midfielder role and go Devante Call and Norwood. But that's what I'd kind of play. That's my setup. Bench, you could pick from any of a number of people, couldn't you? You know, Teddy Champ been into uh, front of things. You got Jallo. You got Butterfield for attacking options. Then you look at midfield. I mentioned trio over here, so that's leaving out such as like Adam Phillips and Derby Kane. Then you look at back, you'd be looking at like Laresh if Wilkins is not right. Um, I cried he'll be coming back, so he's still out on loan, as is Marsh. Could be looking at Undermark, you know. So there's, there's a number of things, I'm not right sure as well. We've um. Norwood picking up bookings. I think it, I'm not sure if he's picked up five bookings now. So that means he might be out for Bolton uh, from the Bolton game. Sorry. So I think it might be out for the Morgan game uh, with suspensions in the league. So again, that's going to limit options. And it, you might end up seeing Jallo and Tedic on bench. So again, you think about that with the injuries as well as suspensions. It starts to, you know, add up and look at depth at the squad. So that's my <clears throat> that's my predicted starting eleven. Again, I'd like to know your thoughts about uh, this. Do you think that it's going to start anyone different? It's not going to alter formation. How would you approach this game? I think we need to take it straight to them. You know, get up and amongst them. Need to take the game to them. I think the first goal will be crucial. I think if they do score first, I just can see it being a tricky tie, uh, a tricky game. I can see it being a frustrating game. And for the amount of fans that are going to be taking, I think we're going to be so important like we have done away. You know, Sheffield Wednesday, away at your Fleetwoods, your Cambridge. You know, so games like that, we get behind. And the team bonding exercise yet again, a good togetherness of a squad as a whole. And it's just building building steps, you know, the, to, the belief in, in the squad. Also, you know, Duff and backroom staff, you know, Patterson and Devane are there as well. So, you know, I think uh, it's it's... What can I say? It's like one of these where it's not just for players and the management, but it's all as one. And if you're all in it as a team, you'll win it as a team. Yeah, you play for one another. 
and you know results will come. So it's that belief, that togetherness. And that's what we're looking for, and that's what we can start seeing. Great what Michael Duff's doing, you know, where he is. Shout out to players as well, what's been nominated for goal at month and player at months. Michael Duff, uh, you know, recognised for manager at month as well. So it just goes to show that things are starting to go in the right direction slowly, but still in league position where we are. We're not fifth or sixth front bottom, you know, we're, we're in the table. And next, you know, next few games coming up. Markham from Lincoln City at home. That's going to be a big game, midweek game. So, need to be start picking points. So, yeah, I think, then I think it's Forest Green at home. So, three, three games. Possibly say three winnable games. Be interested to know what your thoughts are on this. Please like, subscribe and share as always. Appreciate all your comments. I will reply to them all. Let me know your thoughts on this. Morecambe versus Barnsley. If you say in comments below, be interesting to see what uh, we're going to go with. I'm going to say 2-1 Barnsley. Who knows? Could it be more? Could it be a draw? But I'm saying 2-1 Barnsley. Be interested to know your score predictions as well. One thing left to say, you reds. Thank <laughs> you.